Hi Aries, how's everybody doing? Before we get into it, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. It looks like you're taking a break from a situation that um, was really drawing on your energy. This can be you also recognizing that um, you were kind of like giving your energy away to a situation or a person and like recognizing that you're the one that gets to choose where you're channeling your energy. So this is also about flipping the perspective and rather than being like oh this person is sucking my energy this is about you being like oh i'm giving my energy away i'm seeing something like that going on here it's like something that like you may have initially felt like seeing the five of swords as being outside of yourself and this feels like you recognizing like your responsibility in this and allowing that to empower you to make a choice that feels right for you it's like you get to choose where you're putting your energy. Nobody can take that away from you unless you allow it. Allow yourself to give it away, you know? So, and it feels like a situation that you recognize you need to move yourself away from because maybe it was harder to, like, manage yourself and this was something as well that you recognized. you like, it shouldn't be this draining to be in this situation or like I don't want to be involved in something that's so draining you know so it's like in order to collect yourself you have to kind of bring yourself out of whatever that was that you were channeling your energy into yeah yeah you could have felt like you weren't holding space for yourself here You could have been around someone that you perceive to be, like, emotionally manipulative. I'm even seeing that with the King of Cups being sandwiched by the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. This is like taking a break from an energy, whether this be, like, an aspect of you or this be someone outside of yourself. And, like, no judgment either way. We're just talking about what's being seen right here. Um... I'm seeing an energy that um, could have been like passive aggressive with the King of Cups and the Seven of Swords here. This is um, someone that may be emotionally manipulative, someone like self-serving too, always can be an aspect of ourselves that we're recognizing. It's like maybe you were in a situation and you felt triggered maybe into a behavior that you don't particularly want to find yourself within however you were feeling a need to be defensive and maybe um like protect yourself and maybe you don't like what that brought out in you or this can be someone that you've been around again this is just about like recognizing what we're around it's not about passing judgment so yeah maybe something again that you're like, I don't want to be a part of this, or I don't like how I feel when I'm involved in this, or I don't like what what is being brought out in me. So this is both like showing us where we are, showing us where we're not too, what we have to work on, what we don't want to be a part of, what feels healthy to us, what feels unhealthy to us. Maybe even subconscious motivations that you're becoming aware of. Ooh, in a relationship with someone. This is someone you're in a close relationship with. But it's something that you're walking away from. 
Yeah, it's ending. This may be someone you've had like a long time relationship with. This does not have to be romantic, although it can be. It's like anyone you've had like some sort of established connection with. It's like at one point in time you guys got along very well, but it just seems like there's a lot of shadow work that's needed and things that have kind of been swept under the rug and I'm watching you walk away from something here. I've consistently seen this in like all of the readings today with the Eight of Cups because the Eight of Cups is walking away from something that you don't feel particularly inspired by anymore. This thing doesn't feel fulfilling to you anymore. It's not what you want. It's not what you need. It's not where you particularly want to have your energy. I'm seeing a very big ending that's happening here. This could have been someone that you had like um, either been with for a long time or been with repetitively. You kept being like brought back together with this person, but it's like the same old behavior kept repeating or something even built to this point. And you're like, you know what? I can't be around this anymore. And I mean, it, to be in a situation where it, the King of Cups is triggered this would be like one of the most difficult situations. It's one where you really feel like you can't be vulnerable because you're going to be taken advantage of and you're like giving parts of yourself away that you you don't want to be compromising. So I'm seeing you make a decision like really for the betterment betterment of yourself here and it's to, to take a break from whatever energy this is or whatever situation that's bringing this out within you. And for a lot of you, this is related to a connection you've been in with someone. And it's like, it's not worth it to you anymore. Because what I'm seeing here, most of all, Aries, is that this is not a place where you feel um, safe to be vulnerable. And so there's like a lack of intimacy within this connection because you feel like you have to be on guard here with someone. It's like definitely an immense lack of trust here and like the paranoia of being taken advantage of or like just in general feeling like you have to like defend yourself or be on guard with someone it just feels very tiring and very like why are you in a relationship with someone or connecting with someone if you're feeling that way it seems like more work than it does like pleasure or safety or intimacy so, and I, f I feel like this is the point of getting to that understanding now, getting to that conclusion that it's just not worth it to you anymore. And I'm seeing like shadow work as well that you've been doing on yourself. I'm seeing work that you've been putting in, like investing in your peace of mind here and like your growth and your healing work, self-awareness. Especially with, like, certain characters you don't want to be involved in, too. Yeah. You're recognizing you don't want to take the offer from this person. Recognizing as well the truth about this individual, too, that you've been tied up with. This is someone that um, may, like, project onto you, and it could have been a quite confusing experience that you had with this individual. But in, like, recognizing your own strength, I'm seeing you also be guided not to, like, really give a reaction to this person. Because this is someone that would definitely, um, looking to get a rise out of you. And just seeing this person, like, not be a genuine type of, t not acting in a genuine type of way. Like, this person is more interested in the game of this connection rather than actually connecting with you, you know? So it's like, this person would not have, this person would have deviant reasons for wanting to be in a connection with someone. And I'm getting that this is really something you're realizing. This is a situation too that could have really shown you um, like parts of your shadow and subconscious that you needed to be aware of and so in getting a more clear idea of where you you stand with things and your own energy and understanding that and identifying that you're also able to see certain characteristics within this person that maybe you hadn't been able to recognize before.
but I'm seeing like this growing consciousness, this growing awareness. And it's, it's because you're like, um, maturing and developing more so into the energy of the King of Cups. And it seems like, it seems like there may be a situation that's coming about where this person's like attempting to pull something with you and I'm seeing you not really give it any play. Yeah. <laughs> what helps you in this situation, the connection with this person, is to bring a final end to it, I'm seeing. This is also recognizing as well when it's time to cut your losses and cut it loose. Because this is what I'm seeing here, Aries. This is not something that's healthy for you to be a part of anymore. This really does feel like something borderlining on, um, like, being a hazard to you, energetically. This is understanding, too, you're not going to get what you want. Like, no matter which way you flip it or spin it, you're not going to get what you want from the connection with this person because their, like, motivation is very, very different than yours, even if it didn't initially seem like that. Like, they're definitely out for, for something else that's very different than your, like, motivation for having a connection with someone. And there can be a lot of, a lot of confusion behind this as well because this person is not someone that's going to explain that to you. It's, like, more so about the game to them unfortunately like this is not someone this isn't someone honest just straight up so this is someone that would be, be um like deceptive in many different ways i think that you recognize this too even if it's something like harder to consciously um like materialize subconsciously you know this you're gaining more of an awareness on this. You could even have done, I'm hearing something about a character study. You may even have gotten to a place where you've been looking up, um, like certain traits, even of this, um, this behavior and what that means to you and for this person. And it may be giving you a better understanding of like what type of energy you're dealing with here. It's just, like, this person is not yet in the light, and I think that that's being recognized, and that doesn't mean that, like, there aren't things that you value about this person, but it means, like, on a whole, like, energetic, emotional plane, like, this person is very, um, is, like, not developed in the way that you are, and so there's a very much a lack of compatibility and a lack of intention, The challenge was for you to walk away from this, to, to end the relationship and walk away. For some of you, this could have even been a marriage or like a long-term commitment. But you recognizing that, that this is, you're not going to get what you want from this situation. Like it, it's not going to be. This feels very much like the recognition of what is rather than what you hope or what you wish. It's like letting the reality of the situation sink into you. And that feels like um, having cold water splashed on your face is what I'm hearing. It's like that instant waking up to the situation and what's actually going on. I'm seeing this lead to a very huge transformation that you're going through right now. Like this could have been some sort of catalytic experience that you've had. And I'm seeing like... You find the prize by walking away from this situation. You're completing a lesson with the connection, like with this energy, with this person. I'm seeing this be extremely significant for you. 
I'm looking at Cancer here. I was also here in Cancer too. I'm looking at Saturn as well. Scorpio on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Look at you. I'm seeing this having been like something really big that you've developed through. That you finally completed. I'm hearing something about a postmark. I feel like you, I'm hearing something about a trilogy as well, like, can be taken in a number of ways, I suppose. Could have had, like, a lot of different segments to your connection with this person, but I'm seeing this be, like, the final chapter is now closed. But something does feel significant about the number three with you and this person, maybe the times that you guys have, like, separated or come back together, or even, like the segments of this relationship but yeah it feels like something something has now completed and it definitely is um an upgraded energy that i'm seeing as well aries and i'm looking at you on the bottom of the deck here too it feels like um it feels like major character development even like we can say that you have gone through learning so much about yourself, understanding the boundary between your energy and another person's energy, what you can control, what's beyond your control, when it's worth it to walk away from something, when you recognize that you're not going to find what you need within that. Also, um, adjusting to the reality of a situation so rather than being like, I hope one day it can be like this, or like, if only you would change in this way, this is about you accepting things for what they really are and, and getting real with yourself and being like, is this something that I want to deal with? Like, if things just stay exactly as they are right now, like, am I going to be content staying in this situation? Or is this something that I want to move on from? Is this something that like, I want to move away from because I can find or I hope to find satisfaction elsewhere? Like, I need a deeper connection. I need something spiritual. I don't want to always be on guard. I don't want to feel like I need to have my guard up because somebody I know they have a tendency to be manipulative or to take advantage, you know? These are all the things that we have to decide and choose for ourselves because different situations work differently for each of us. And so this is for nobody to determine like whether this is okay or not except for you with yourself and having that conversation and really getting down to it and that's what I'm seeing is going on here this feels like major major progression that you've made and you're finally done with something something that took a long time to get through as well something that was definitely very difficult Cancer Saturn. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.